Okay, I just have to relieve some of my tension there. I think um, I've just got some chakra overload. <laughs> I'll just pop this blindfold on you. I'd like to just get you guys to imagine that you've placed yourself on a beautiful beach, free from the monotonous grind of everyday relationships. Your boss, your girlfriend. <laughs> You're just drifting along the beach and you meet a blonde girl. A beautiful blonde girl is really good at yoga. And she takes you behind a sand dune. She gives you the most amazing, mind-blowing blowjob. <laughs> this is a visualization of the future. This will happen. Okay, wake up. You're back in the room. So, um, Mark, did you want me to put you in the diary for that one-on-one -on -one now? Where's my diary? Hey. Movements. Confused. Oh, yoga can do that. It can really sort of, if your chakras aren't in line to begin with, it can really kind of. I don't think it's my yoga class. I think it's you. This wasn't yoga. Yeah, no, it's partner yoga. No, no, it's not partner yoga. Couples yoga. No, we're going. Do so you have any questions? Just um, give me a call or pop back in for yeah. coffee or tea or no. me. <laughs> okay. See you Bye. My chakras are always open to you. <laughs> Namaste. Bye. I get the impression that your female clients don't leave there relaxed. Yeah, I really don't understand why. I mean, I get so much repeat business from males. Why am I not surprised? And we have uh, Mark and Emma here tonight. Have you been back to yoga since then? No. You stay away. not. Have you used the awkward donkey in your life though? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you still together and you seem more relaxed than then. Okay. <laughs> please thank Mark and Emma and please thank Ali Pinnock, the bunny boiler. <laughs>